All right, so back to Jim's account. We're going to make it better, bigger, better, faster, stronger, all that good stuff. So we're going to take this. We're going to change over to Battle Talents. And Mr. Big Jim's already said that this is his Battle Talents, even though it says Gather. So we'll apply it. Oh, you got 84 of them bug buggers. Um, I'm just going to add your remaining two points on the health because it really doesn't matter at this point because we're going to be changing everything anyway. So your gear, which one is which? Which one is the one you normally use? Oh, you don't even have that. Okay. Alright, so that's got badges on it, so I assume you use that. That one maybe. Okay. Um, I assume that or that. Well, just normally. Okay. So the dagger or the axe? And now which one out of this? This one? Storm Rage. That one. Okay. Yep. 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 All right, so looking at your account details, this is this is what you're looking at. So 268 infantry attack, spearman attack 244, cav attack 302. Um, so what this tells me is you're not specialized, you're not focusing. Um, you're kind of a jack of all trades. And if there's anything in this game that I've learned is it's best to specialize in something so if you're if you're better in infantry than you are in spear then by all means you want to choose infantry and pour as much as you can into your infantry to make them as strong as possible um, so we're going to identify two troop types that you're good at um, and the way we do that is we'll look at your badges and, and determine that and then we'll go from there at that point so before before I before I forget, let's look at your commanders. So you've got you got Chris awakened, so that's good. Sheila, okay. We won't use Sheila because bowmen aren't not good at attack. They're good at defense, but not at attack. Um, Rob, uh, looks like you're working on Seg and Garel. So you've got two infantry commanders and a cavalry commander and one spear commander not fully awakened but at least you got something so it's it's a boost right that right all right, well, it's okay. Now you know. So let's identify your strongest formation first. And the way we do that is we'll go into Blacksmith. We'll go into Blacksmith. We'll go into Forge. We're going to look at all this equipment. And we're going to remove all of these badges. We're going to clean everything off. Quit. 
How are you doing it? Yeah. This way you get every single piece and you don't miss a badge. You don't miss a piece of gear. You just start at the champion set then go to the glorious set which you don't have. And if you did, I would I would be I'd be surprised. Cuz that's a lot of money, that glorious set. So this is like the paid glorious set and this is the unpaid glorious set basically. Um, nothing wrong with them. It's just, you know, I'm not about to put that kind of cash into this game just to, just to say my dick is bigger than yours kind of thing. Because that's basically what you're doing. Um, if you want to spend thousands of dollars for a full set of Glorious and, and then come roll over my mid-tier account, then, you know, by all means do that. You know, you, you paid thousands of dollars to do that. So... Really, really, who's the biggest loser here? Not me. <laughs> yeah, I'll look at it like this. I mean, it's you could be worse. You could be you could be drinking. You could be smoking. You could be out doing other things that you shouldn't be doing. But if you enjoy playing and this is what you like to do, I don't I don't see a reason why. Somebody should be frowned upon for spending money on it because if you enjoy it, then do it. Well, that and you can't take it with you when you go, so might as well spend it while you're here. Okay, so none of that. Huntsman set, you got a few badges here. Even though we're not going to be using these defense badges, I'm still going to rip them off of your equipment. Because, um, I, you're, you're going to, you're going to maybe go and, you know, on your gathering gear or something and, and put those defense badges on. Um, so that's that. New Lord set. What does this ring even do? Oh. Yeah, but it's only 200k. I got it too, thinking it was something great, but um, I don't really use it. Okay. That, that, that. Okay. Alright, so no more badges. So now what we're going to do is we're going to not go all the way out, but we're going to go to inventory. We're going to go to badge, and we're going to take every single badge and break it down into gray. Dismantle. Symbol. Alright, well, I'll, I'll help you with that decision. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm just going to have a mental note of this, okay? So you had one purple, right? So that so that one purple, right now you have two or three, but that one purple gives you 15% attack or defense or health or whatever the case may be, right? So just make a mental note. So purple is 15% and 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 we'll come back to that. Disassemble, 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 and you got a gold here. Gold is 25. Well, so we can talk about that later. Um, they're coming. And uh, there are already some players that are using bows and using them well. Um, they are not good for attacking. They are not. They're just, 
they never will be because they only start attacking at the uh, 13 second mark of battle so that it's just it's not feasible to use them in a in an attack march but for a defense they are proving to be pretty formidable um, especially with the new awakened commanders um, you know the bow commanders being if you awaken them they're gonna they're gonna really boost your your bows when defending okay now let's go down to these guys And you got some good badges. And you're not you're not a shoddy you're not shoddy when it comes to badges, so that's good. Uh, looks like you were looks like you were trying to go spear cav because you chose some KVK badges, spear and cav. So now everything is gray. We can't we can't do anything with these health badges because they'll forever be green or uh, gold. There's nothing you can do about those because those are those are iron uh, iron bank gifts. You can't break those down. So you're stuck with what you got with those. Um, so what you want to do is you have everything back down to gray. You want to look at what you have the most in attack. So you've got 354 cav, you've got 199 infantry, and you've got 252 spear. So the most badges you have is of cavalry at 354. So what that's going to tell you is cavalry should be your second line. Your second line would be your damage line. So it's going to be your formation will be something cavalry. Right? Okay, so now you want to do the same thing for defense. So what is the most badges you have in defense? And I'm not talking about bows or anything like that. We're not, we're not putting bows. This is for an attack army only. So the most you have in defense, you've got 83 of cav, you've got 151 of infantry, and you've got 355 of spear. So this tells me it's going to be spear cav. So spear cav will be your formation. So what you want is you're going to put every single one of these badges into a piece of gear and every single one of these badges into a piece of gear. And you're also going to complement it with the spear badge, spear health badge. And you said you have a chest in waiting. I would suggest open it up and make it a spear health badge. So you have two of these instead of just one. Um, if you want, I can go ahead and open it. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do that and add to the total. So, this guy here, Spear Health. Alright. So, go back to the badges. Yep, we got two now. Um, okay, so, now let's start building your gear. So, Spear, spear Cav. So, let's go to the go to the gear and spear cav is going to be the frost set this is going to be the set that you'll want to target so whenever you have Bolton boys or northern rebels you want to kill the crap out of them so you can boost this set as much as you possibly can because this set is what's going to have spear and cav uh, for the top two attributes so the helmet is spear defense and cav health. This is cavalry something, spear something. This is spearman cav. This is, ca see, it, see what I'm saying? Every single one of these pieces of gear is spear cav in some fashion. Now that doesn't mean we have to use all of these pieces of gear and just these pieces of gear. 
you can mix and match and put in whatever you think you might need to better boost whatever you want to boost. But in the end, what you're wanting to do is boost the health and defense of your front line, which is spear, and boost the attack of your damage line, which is cav. So attack cav, and we can go attack, defense, or health for spear. Preferably health, then defense, and then cat and then attack but health is most important on your front line defense is secondary so what we want to do is we've we know that this frost set is kind of what you're kind of be targeting so we'll start building your gear preset so if you click click this little guy here you got you got gear presets and we can create one so I like to rename them as the formation that it's supposed to be. So spear, cav, confirm. Now, so the champion's helmet right off the bat, cav attack and spear defense. Spear defense is going to boost your front line resilience. Cav attack, 12%. It's hard to beat that. So I would I would select this this helmet over the uh, the frost the frost set helmet because the frost set helmet you're not getting nowhere near as much of a percentage of increase so good job champions helmets where you where it's at so we're gonna equip that um, now so we got infantry attack for the champions blade we got cavalry defense for the for the champions blade neither one of these are helping you any cavalry defense they're your damage line, so if you beef up their defense, it's not going to matter. You're you're wasting you're wasting that that skill because theoretically, in an attacking army, if you if you attack to win, all the damage is going to be on your front line, which is the spears, not your calf. It's not going to ever hit your calf, so don't worry about your calf living because they're there just to just to do damage. So this is the Storm Breath sword, cavalry attack of 15% and infantry defense of 6%. Well, that's a good cav attack, but the secondary attribute is is infantry, and we're not going to put any of those in your in your attacking formation. So we could choose this to boost the cav attack, but we're we're kind of wasting wasting it with the infantry defense. Um, so this is nothing, infantry spear. Uh, this is nothing because this is the oath set. Uh, gathering, research. So the loyalty crown sword, lofty crown sword, is the the generic. Um, yeah, it's the king's guard set. It's the generic uh, glorious set that that everybody can get. Now this is good. This is a good sword. You've got. You've got three different attributes, and all of them are really good. The only problem is, is that it only boosts attack, and it's total attack, by 3.1%, health by 1.5, and defense by 1.5. I, I, I don't see at the quality that it's at, at green, the benefit of using this sword yet. Now, once it gets into the purple, or the gold, or, or you know, maybe even the blue, I'm not exactly sure what it goes up to when it gets to blue. But maybe even the blue, it might be a viable option for you to choose. But at a green, I don't. I think I think you're you're better off maybe sticking with this, um, or or using the storm breath sword at this point because even the frost set, yeah, it boosts your spearman attack. That's great, but cavalry defense is not really needed in this particular formation. And then you got build and something else. So until you get this increased in quality to maybe blue, I mean even better purple, um, I would not even think about using either one of these right now. This may be good at blue to change to, but this may be holding off until you get it purple to use. But for right now, I think what you should do is probably boost your cav attack with this sword here. Because it's 15.9, almost 16%. And 
and that's that's hard to beat yeah we're throwing away a skill right here i mean uh, uh, an attribute with this infantry defense but 15 percent is a lot so let's go ahead and put that on so basically you got to look at where you're at and and what's what's the most bang for your buck right now um now in a month or so it may change like this you may end up changing this to this or maybe even this i don't know it just depends on how hard you're you're attacking those rebel leaders Yeah, so what what you what this is going to do, this is this tells you your formation that that you're strongest in currently. This will also tell you where your shortfalls are. So you already know where your shortfall is. Your shortfall is here. You know, one of these guys would probably be better benefit your your formation than this one. But for right now we're going to choose this one. Um, but you know what to work on later, right? So it's Bolton Boys and something else I can't remember. Um, Old Town, I, I I can't remember. But you can go in and see what you got to attack to get these. Now this one, in order to boost it, you have to boost this, this, and this. So when you get this to blue, it'll change to blue because you already have everything blue or higher. These three. You've got these two at blue. You got that one at blue and that one at purple. So this one just needs to be blue. Then, in order to get this to purple, you'll need to get this and this to purple at that point because you already have this at purple. Now, when you now when that puppy changes to purple, that might be pretty good to equip and use over either one of these two. You just have to see what it gives you. So, boots, we're going to do the same thing. Um, champion boots, garbage. Don't use them. Not for an attacking formation. If you're defending, if like you're going to take a rally or something like that and you got a lot of bows, yeah, they probably, you know, slap those things on there and, and you know, your bowmen will go to town. But this is, this is just for attacking. So, what we're doing right now. Um, oath armor, wow, even better. You know, bowmen attack, those are good. Um, but only when defending. Gathering. Expedition. So. Spear and attack, bowman attack, and total health. See, see those, that's not bad. The storm rage is cavalry defense and infantry to health. health. These are the boots that you're supposed to be using, but they are at green quality right now. So Spearman Health and Cav Attack. So those are your two. Those are your two attributes that you're shooting for. I'm gonna say we're probably gonna stick with these because even though they're low, it benefits you in all the right places. So Cav Attack is what you're shooting for. And Spearman Health is certainly what you're sp shooting for because Spearman is going to be your front line. So let's equip those. Work on those. Okay. So now the next infantry attack, cav defense. Neither one of these are what you're going to need. Um, I think it's the knife, cavalry attack, and Spearman defense. Now this is, this is kind of what you need. So this is the Glorious set, the Walmart Glorious set. Yeah, Cav Attack and Spearman Defense. So Spearman is your front line, you want defense and health. Cavalry is your damage line, you want it, you want attack. So this is what you want, really. Um, with it being green, though, I'm just kind of exploring your options here. Infantry Defense, nope. Spearman Attack, Infantry Defense, nope. And this one is infantry cav. So, so this is what I use because I'm infantry cav. But for your, 
for your particular formation, this is get what you're going to want to get right here. So we're going to equip that. Now when it comes to jewelry, everybody's in the same shitty scenarios. Because some of the jewelry is good, and some of it's not so good. So this is part of the, the, the free-to-play glorious set. Infantry, cav, and spearman attack. And bowman attack. So I would I would always choose this one. Okay. And then we got two more pieces of jewelry guy we gotta choose too. So we'll go ahead and work on those since we're talking about jewelry. Um so that's inventory help cav attack. It's this one here that's part of the frost set. So cavalry health and spearman attack. It would be nice if it was swapped, where it was Spearman Health and Cav Attack, but of course we don't. We don't have that luxury. Um, spearman Health, that's not bad. So anything we can do to boost your Spearman Health, that's that's pretty good. So let's equip that one, because really what you're looking at here is you're when you when you choose these guys here, all you're doing is looking for this, t because any this research speed isn't going to help you when attacking. This total defense will. Um, this total health will. This total defense, but these other two aren't going to help you. So, I would much rather choose something that's lower in quality that gives you two more attribute boost, boosts, like spearmen and infantry. Even though you're not going to be using infantry, it still comes into play if you get attacked. And if you are attacking, you will get attacked. So, I think we chose this one. We'll choose that one. Okay, and then we got our last piece, which I know what we're going to choose. We're going to choose this. You can choose You can choose this because, you know, 6.37% total health is, is decent. Um... Now the fortification, attack bonuses, and all that defense, but it, it, you know, it's okay, but it's not. It's not what we're setting out to do. We're setting out to do as much damage as possible when you choose to attack a castle. But that's six percent infantry. See, this is this is my go-to piece right here. Because I'm infantry cav, but you're not. So we're gonna stick with this guy here. Now, if you go back and change your mind, you can always choose another good option. Is this one because total health is always gonna be good. Six point three seven percent is pretty decent. But if you get this guy up to blue quality, it's gonna make you forget about this guy. So, yeah, there's a method to the madness for sure. How's it going? So now your your chess piece. So when it comes to the frost set, this is your desired chess piece. Cav defense and spearman health. Yeah, spearman health is great. Cav defense is pretty useless when it comes to the formation that you're talking about. So, let's look at what our options are. So we got spear attack, 12%. Infantry defense of 5. So the infantry defense is trash because we're not going to have infantry in our army. Spearman attack, that's pretty good, 12%. Um, cav health, don't need it. Infantry defense, don't need it. That's mountain clan stuff uh bowman spear defense inventory health see that's not bad defense is the lesser of the def of the of the defending skills though this is for bowman and then new lord set so i would say it's this guy here and this is part of the frost set you could, you could choose the champion's armor and boost your spear attack some if you wanted to. Um, 
In fact, let's do that. Let's 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 do that because we want your spear to hit harder than than they are right now. Um, now, when you get this guy to blue, it's going to increase this, I think, to like four hmm, percent or something like that. So it may be an option to change it over to the frost set once you get frost set to blue quality. But for right now, champions, the champion's chess piece is probably good. So, this is what you're going to be for right now. And with this equipment applied, this is what it's going to boost. It's going to boost your cav attack by 35.36%, basically. Infantry defense, we don't care. Spearman defense, it's low at 6.5. Spearman attack at 15. And Spearman health at 13. Now, this is without badges. So once we put badges on, it's going to get better. So let's go ahead and save this before we forget and I screw it up and we have to go back and do it again. So we save our equipment record, spear cav. Yep, we got it right. Use, use. Okay. So now let's go back. We got spear cav. We hit apply. Now all that gear is on our lord. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to apply badges. So we said spearman front, cavalry, cavalry in the rear. So we're going to put one of these, Spearman Defense. We're going to put, let's go ahead and just put one of these on there too. And then we're going to put Cav Attack on there. Okay, and we're going to do this for every single piece of gear. We're not going to upgrade it yet. We're just going to do it all at great quality. So, yes but but it'll come into play in a minute okay all right so we got that we want one of those and we want cav attack okay so now that we have no more health badges for spear we're gonna go spear defense spear attack cav attack Now, here's where I like to put those special badges. I like to put it on the jewelry. Because the jewelry just kind of... I don't know. I, I, my OCD ways, it just... I, I, I look at it as different, right? It's not a piece of armor or anything. It's jewelry. So, I, And and if I, if I segment it out as jewelry, I can do it that way. So what I'll do is I'll put um, maybe one of each of these on the jewelry and then I'll go defense and then cav attack uh, let's go ahead and just continue with jewelry so we'll put that one on now and then what did I say defense and then cavalry attack And the last one is this guy here, defense and cab attack. Okay. Now, we'll definitely put cab attack and infantry attack. So here, here's my logic on the KVK badges. Yeah, they're great. If you can, if you can use them, yeah, they're great. But with, with you not having as many as you should to upgrade, I would wait until you get more to swap those out. And the, reason and the reason why is because you have so many badges of what you're using here, you can get more bang for your buck by specializing and combining these than you would specializing and combining these because you don't have as many. Get it? Okay, and so we're going to do that, attach, and we're going to do that, and attach. So get more of these. I would, I would choose the cavalry ones and the, and the spearman ones. But when you get enough to get, to, get, to get it up to maybe upgraded to blue or something like that, then maybe that's when you need to change it. But you'll have to see what it offers at blue 
or, or even green um, before looking at this. So remember when I when we when we made the mental note that purple quality is 15 percent. So here's when this comes into play. So purple quality is 15 percent and everything's gray right now. So we don't want to take one thing just straight up to purple. So because when you upgrade you want to upgrade uniformly so you want to upgrade everything to green on every single piece of your gear you want and then you want to go and upgrade everything to blue on every single piece of your gear and then you want to finally go up to purple and then lastly gold you're probably not going to have enough badges for for to start on anything gold but um the reason why you do it that way is because gold having one badge at gold is 25% boost to whatever attribute that is. If you were to break that gold down into purples, and I can't remember exactly how many purples you'll get from it, I think like five purples or four purples or something like that. So each purple is 15%. So instead of having one badge for 25%, I would much rather have two badges at purple for 15% because the 15s add up to 30. So it's better to have two purples than one gold. Okay. Yeah, so, so the more badges you have, the more powerful you're going to be. So I forgot a piece of gear, but it's okay. We'll fix it. There we go. So we got everything with badges on. And they're all gray, so we haven't upgraded them yet, except for the health, which they always stay gold. All right, so now we'll start upgrading, but we'll only do it one level at a time. So these two here can be upgraded, so we'll combine. Combine. So now they're go they're green, and this one always stays gold. So we'll go to the next piece. Combine, combine. Okay, so there's green on that, and we'll do this until we run out of badges, and we can't upgrade anymore. But we'll only do one piece at a time. So that way we 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 upgrade uniformly versus one piece one you know one piece gets yeah you split it up you get you get more of a boost okay combine 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 Oop, didn't mean to change So now we're working on blue quality. Oops. It's kind of a long process, but once you got it, you got it, right? Hmm. You can't upgrade that one. Turn your volume down just a touch. Yeah. 
getting some feedback. Are we working? Yeah, yeah, better. Okay, so now we're working on purple. So. Still with me? Woo, that's loud. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, I can hear you. I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, good. That's the one. Okay. So now we've upgraded and we've ran out of badges. Okay. So it looks like we started to run out when we were upgrading to purple. So you got purples, I think, all the way down to... Down to the, f the first piece of jewelry. So purples here, and then you start the blues. So, not too bad, right? So now, the talents. We're going to do the talents the same way. So, let's go ahead and archive. We're going to edit this one. And we're going to name it the same things. Oop. Archive, edit. Sphere, cav. Confirm. Reset. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to target everything spear and cavalry related. And anything that's total attack or um, total health or total defense, we'll get that too. Um, because that's going to help everything. So army attack, highest level, boom. Let's go with that. Cav attack, yep, we need that, highest level. Um, spearman attack, yep, that's in our army, highest level. Uh, inventory, no. So we're going to skip that. Now, if you want to skip it, you still have to put some points in here to go to the next level. But what you do is just click this army defense one that's locked here and hit unlock. And it will put the minimum amount of points into that inventory attack to unlock this. So army defense, yep, we want that. So let's go highest level with that. Uh, health, yep, that's a good one. Spearman attack, yep, that's a good one. Infantry attack, nope, we don't need it. Skip it, unlock this, and go to the highest level because cav is what we need. Uh, infantry attack, nope, skip it. Unlock, highest level. Highest level. And then health, yep, good. And defense, and we're out of badges. We're out of talent points, sorry. So now that we're done, that's our talents. That's your attacking talent. Sorry, my son is having fun, so... Um, so now we'll save it and you got 30 of those so we're good so now we'll apply it use alright so now we got gear badges and talents refined to support spearman cavalry formation so now let's go ahead and check your details and see where you're at so all the top stuff not we're not worried about we're gonna we're gonna play with all that stuff, but we're just looking. We're taking a timeout right now. So spear attack is 269. Not sure where it was before. I can't remember. But I know your cav attack wasn't 351. So that's a considerable boost there. So spearman defense is 238. Yours wasn't. Yours was around 100 and something, I think. And spearman health is 205. I think we went up in everything we wanted to go up in. Um, inventory attack we're not too worried about because we're not using inventory. So, so far it's a success, I think. You're, you're 
you're more focused on where you need to be. Now, we'll set up your marching army configuration in the military grounds. Let my son stop screaming. Um, so, so you want me to overwrite, you want me to make you a new one or overwrite one of them? Well, I mean, you got a free one down here you're not using, so I could use that one. All right, well, I'll use this one. So, again, name it. Spear Cav. Confirm. Now, so here's what's going to happen. You're going to choose your strongest dragon. Right now, it's that one. Um... When you get this one to ancient status, this one will be stronger. But um, I think it's like the second level ancient is stronger. So you'll you'll swap you'll swap your main dragon. Um, so now your commanders. You want to choose your commanders that complements that attacking formation. So as you can see right now, it poured it over all your all your stats. Well, no, this is just pulling from appearances and stuff. So. So right now it's not done, but, and this is without gear. So the only way you're going to, you're going to get the benefit of your gear and your badges that are attached to your gear is to put your Lord in the army. So once we put your Lord in the army, it boosted up quite a bit. See, it, it went from 167, which is your base with whatever you see there so the dragon bonus the research bonus and marching troop appearance but you put this guy in there and he's gonna it skyrockets it because that's a that's that's adding your bonuses of your gear and your badges now so you that's why you always want your lord to be in your marching army um so you have rob selected right now you don't have to choose rob i would keep him because you have him partially you have him partially um, awakened, so he's he's a pretty good choice. Um, now, Gorel is another good choice because he boosts right now spearman attack and spearman defense by 48%. That's a pretty good boost. So you've got Julian. He's good too, but he only boosts attack. Arslan is good too because it's spearman health and spearman attack. So let's put let's put Arslan in there. So Uma's not that bad either, but it depends on where you want to go with it. So are you wanting to reduce the enemy's defense and cavalry health that's going to be a, that you're going to be facing? Or would you rather boost your attack with somebody else like, let's say, I don't know, Varus. I don't like using Varus, but um, you see where the choice is there, though? I mean, you got your spirit, you're boosting attack there, but you're also reducing enemy health and, and, and defense. I, I, you know, she she's better than using Varus, because Varus, the only thing he does is boost attack. She boosts attack and reduces the defense. So she she might be one that we choose. But I would say um, let's choose a commander that's going to boost your cav attack for right now. Because we need to boost your cav attack more. Uh, let's check out Hector. Hector's good. So Hector's probably going to be one that we choose. Um, because... We've got Spearman Defense, Spearman Attack, and Enemy Cavalry Health Reduction. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking Uma might be better than Arslan at this point. I don't know. What do you think, bud? Because we could choose... So, we're adding health to the Spearman, and Spearman is our front line, and health is what we need. And Spearman Attack is always good to have too. But 
he doesn't reduce the enemy's damage coming in. This does. It lowers the enemy army's defense totally by 10%. And on top of that, reduces the health of just the cavalry enemy by 15. You think that's better? Okay, so let's let's put let's put Uma there then. Now, if if they come out and awaken Arslan and he's something crazy stupid, you might want to put you know swap him out and awaken him. You know that might be something that you want to go for. Right now, I can tell you that if you awaken Julian fully, you're going to want him in your attacking army. Because Julian's, Julian's awakening skill is pretty crazy. It's pretty uber. Um, so it's good you got a one star on him. Uh, be better if you had four more with it. but <laughs> Or three more with it, sorry. But uh, so now, let's, let's, get a, let's get a cav attack. So you got Russell which is cav attack of 30% and then not much else, right? And then you have Murel, which is cav health and cav attack. Now, cav health is not that big of a deal. We don't really care about it. But cav attack of 30% is pretty good. But let's check Julian. So Julian boosts that same thing. Cav attack of 30%. He also will boost your Spearman attack by 30%. So in this particular case, instead of choosing a Spear or a, a Cav Commander, I would probably stick with Julian because he boosts your Cav too. And you can work on unlocking him and getting him fully awakened. So now look at your stats. So this is with your Commanders applied. So you're 418%. 419 basically percent in cav attack spearman attack you're 443 a considerable jump spearman defense is 344 spearman health is 223 so your health is your achilles heel if you could get more health badges and more Iron Bank gifts, that would help you. Um, boosting your gear would would definitely help you. Um, but I gotta say, this this is not too shabby. It's it's nothing to. I mean, this is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, together between cavalry attack and spearman attack, you're 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 over 800 percent. You're boosting an attack of your army, your marching army, to 800% if you combine them. And that's pretty good. It's not bad, Jim. So don't beat yourself up over it. It's really good. And I think you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna see better results when you when you go to attack people or you get attacked or whatever the case may be when you have this armor and this preset on because you're gonna you're gonna see a lot more kills. Yeah, but now you know, right? And that's the only way. It's the only way to learn is to is to know. Um, so this will be it for right now, until you get some more commanders awakened, or they unlock Arslan to be awakened. Maybe he's gonna be great. I don't know. Nobody knows right now. Um, Varus Awaken might be the greatest thing ever. Uh, Hector Awaken might be the greatest thing ever. We don't know. So until until more happens, we just won't know. Miranda's not so bad. She, you can start awakening her now, but at, do you? I mean, at this point, do you? Would you rather wait and see what they do with Uma and work on work on getting these guys fully awakened for right now or Hector you know wait on Hector you know yeah so it's it's whatever you want to do at this point but if you choose to go the Miranda route I would I would advise you to look at what her awakened skill is and if that seems like it's something that would benefit your army then by all means work on her if not then skip over her. 
You know, it's it's all about being as strong as you can with what you got. <laughs> so anyway, all right. So we're gonna save this, and this will be this will be your new Uber attack spear cav marching army. Please, oh, we gotta pick troops. Okay, so spear is gonna be in front. So right off the bat, you're gonna want to put. I usually go for around 75k T3s. Because they're gonna take, they're gonna take the losses, not your T4. So you always want to have a T3 meat shield, is what I like to call it. And then we're gonna go. I mean, at this point, you're boosting both about the same when it comes to attack. So we can go half and half, or a little bit less and a little bit more. I mean, however you want to do it, we can do 150 here. You want to do 150 there? Well, that's good. Yeah, 150 is a good number. And then we'll we'll finish out the rest with the cav. So that way you got a lot of cav coming. So your army size is 490k. Um, So now our formation is we're going to go to spear calf. And then we'll save it. So there's your spear calf formation. Well, well now you can you, you can you can do something different with these, right? Or um, if you think that you might want to have because they they brought it out now where you where you can save your badge your badge selections now I don't know how to do it yet because I haven't unlocked it yet but but it's got a badge preset where you can quickly swap out badges so if you have a different formation that you want to run you can you can save your badge presets too and then do a diff whole different formation on one of these other two yeah it's a lot to lot to remember but you know you have the you have the ability if you want so now refinement so the first thing that you want to do I'm not even gonna look at what you got for right now so the first thing you want to do is get in here and look at stats and then all attributes so you got the bottoms checked which is good you always want to keep these these are these are really good so when it comes to refinement you want to ask yourself this do you want so there's there's several different players in 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 Game of Thrones. There's different types of players. There's rally leaders, which are the guys that, that their sole responsibility is to build the biggest rally that they possibly can and kill the most troops from the enemy as they possibly can. Those are the rock stars of the Alliance, basically. Those are the guys that's like, holy shit, what did he hit me with kind of thing, right? Um, you've got those guys, the rally leaders. You've got the rally tankers, which their sole responsibility is to be exposed and to get attacked. And to when they get attacked, to win against rallies in a favorable way so it's not enough just to win you want to win and 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 kill the hell out of the enemy in the process so there's another type of player you've got a you've got the other type of player which is which is a trap castle I know you've heard that term before and what that usually is is basically the same thing as a rally uh, rally tanker but what you're doing is you're just instead of taking rallies you're taking solo attacks um, let's see there's another there's a zero castle I know you've heard of that before um, I'm not sure where your troop amount is or what your hospital size is or anything like that um, but 
usually zero castles only operate within a realm of their hospital capacity their hospital capacity plus 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 their shelter plus one marching army so whatever whatever that all adds up to be that's usually where their where their troop counts usually stay and that's what's called a, a zero castle um so you tell me what you want to do with the account do you want to be a rally leader do you want to be a tanker do you want to be a trap if you're going to go and go the trap castle route then you've got some serious work because you don't right now have the foundation for that <laughs> because trap castles usually have a lot of spear, a lot of bowmen in them um and their wall is and and their iron defense is maxed out in the research and their wall is is pretty pretty beefy and usually lasts about the 13 second 15 second mark um that's usually the be the most benef the most bang for your buck when it comes to a, a, a trap castle um well all of this can be changed really easily because you've got a shit ton of wash stones um but if you are going to you know run a little bit of rallies here and there um and maybe take a hit or two here or there then let's just get rid of all this let's just uncheck all this okay and we'll we'll do it a different way okay so everything at the bottom always check because if you land on it don't ever re-roll it it's really good right chances of you rolling on this again especially total attack are very slim um, so never roll re-roll a total attack or never re-roll a total defense or anything like that yeah so it's the stats down here so what this does is you check what you want and when you're rolling what you want because it's totally random using these wash stones if something comes up that you have a check mark on it'll stop you and say hey are you really wanting to re-roll off of this because you told me you wanted this and you can choose to bypass it but it's just a basically a speed bump so you don't overroll it overroll something that you want so our, our formation is is spear cav so spear health is a good one so let's check that uh cav attack is another good one because that's what we're trying to do we're trying to kill bitches with a cav um infantry we don't need uh i mean spearman defense is is not bad but spearman health is better and the reason why i say health is better than defense is because when that dragon the enemy dragon attacks you it negates the defense skill whatever you could have a defense skill of a thousand damn percent but when a dragon attacks your army with a thousand defense it ignores that defense skill so defense is situational kind of like bowmen are because bowmen are better when defending that's why trap castles are so potent because if you if they're if they're if they're created right and you have a lot of bowmen in your trap castle you're going to kill a lot of the opponent when they attack you You're back? Okay. Um, thanks, Red. I'm just, you know, Jim wanted me to go over his account and a little bit, and that's what I'm trying to help him out. And <laughs> okay, what's that? That's what I am. I'm infantry cab. Mm -hmm. So, so, 
yeah so jim had jim had a lot of 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 spearman defense badges and he had a lot of cav attack badges so that told me right there that he's going to get the get more benefit going spear cav than he would be um, remaining infantry cav yeah because you never know what's going to happen i mean you may open a chest and you may get a a, a gold infantry attack badge and that might change the game for you you know because that's what happened to me last time i opened a bunch of chests of uh, of uh, uh, badge chest and by sure freaking luck i got a gold uh spear attack badge and <laughs> i've since day one of this game i've always been infantry cav and i've focused my my play around that formation so with me getting that gold attack spearman badge it, it started making me think i'm like maybe i am stronger in spear maybe i need to change and honestly it's 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 dead split down the middle i could go either or because i'm just as strong spear cav than i am as i am um infantry cav because uh, i because i because i did this exercise going the other way with it and the skills were almost the, the 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 bonuses and everything on the on the details page was exactly the same it just went the other way yeah see so you may be Yeah. I, I mean, well, that's a infant, infantries are infantry are natural tanks. I mean, if you've got five of them already, I would put them on every single. If you if you go infantry front line, um, put them on every piece of gear. You know, health is health is where it's at. Health is health is what's going to keep. Yeah, it's going to keep your guys alive. I mean, defense is a nice to have, but it's 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 situational, just like Bowman are. Well, the Bowman are probably going to play a big role pretty soon because they seem to be. They they they're. they're they're pouring they're pouring a little bit more into bows um it's to me it's going to take more to convince me when it comes to bows there's not enough out there yet but they're getting there just like with all these awakened commanders and everything there's going to be that watch there's going to be that one bowman commander that awakens it's going to be it's going to change the game and everybody's going to go jump on the bow bandwagon i guarantee you that's what's going to happen Yeah, you know, so training grounds, when you awaken a commander in a training grounds, especially Sheila, Sheila already does high damage. Um, but in the training grounds, she's going to do that just that much more. Um, basically, if she pops a skill, she's going to kill whatever commander she's aiming at. That's that's essentially what that what that's going to do. And usually in the training grounds, the one that... <laughs> whichever side loses the their the first commander first is usually what's going to it's going to be the winner um so because what happens is when that first commander falls then the next commander gets doubled up on and then when that commander dies then the other commander the last commander in the front line gets tripled triple teamed and they just go that much quicker and it's and from there it's like a domino effect um because usually the rear line is your damage line or bows, and and they usually don't have the tanking abilities as your front line does. 
that's usually what happens. Um, so it's good to have a good tanking front line in the training grounds, and then the rear line is your damage line. Now I say I say that usually, but there there are always exceptions to the rule. I mean I see people that put Bowman in the front because Bowmans don't have counters, so they if you have a have a Bowman commander with um, a pretty decent defense and health, they can essentially tank. Um, like Theon. So Theon, for example, if Theon gains defense boost for every commander that dies before he does. So if Theon is the last commander alive, just somehow manages to be the last commander alive, he, he gains an insane defense boost. And it takes almost the entire uh, opponent's team to knock him down. Because he's just got so much defense at that point. Um, sounds like a good choice to me. I mean, essentially back row, yeah. Um, top or bottom, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it really matters to me which which is top or bottom. Um, we'll look at it. Though. So anyway, let's let's get with these. Yeah, if if, if that's the case, then do it that way. Um, so, cav attack is what we need. Spearman health is what we need. All of these are what we need. Um, so, do you see yourself running a lot of rallies? So you want to run more. Okay. Okay. That's that's fine. Um, rally rally size expansion is a good choice then. If you're going to start running a lot of rallies, right? Uh, so we'll check that one. Marching speed is also not so bad. Um, I rolled off of all of my marching speed because ever since Spar kind of left the Alliance, I've kind of had to fill the void of, of, of doing a little bit more of what he was doing, and I'm not as good as he was. So I, I, I need all the help I can get. So I, re, I rolled off of my rally to arm, army marching speed because I needed more, I needed more attack or whatever the case may be. So I rolled off of it. So my rally marching speed is not so good anymore. Um, I used to, I love it because I like getting there quick and getting back. But um, right now I had to do what I could, right? Um, if it's something that you want to keep, I can, I can check it. It's not a bad choice. I mean, if you're going to be running rallies, it's not a bad choice. Okay, marching army size is also good too. There's very limited points. There's there's very limited ways you can you can increase your your overall army size in the game. Um, so you want to keep that. Okay. Um, now this I, I don't really do the hospital capacity thing because until you get to like purple quality and stuff like that, you don't really get to where you're pushing the hospital capacity up by a whole hell of a lot um, and, and and if you think about it this way so you used I don't know however many refinement slots to get this 3195 maybe just one maybe two I don't know um, but in my opinion yes because Think about it this way. So how much does it cost you to train 3K T4s? Not much, right? You can do that in like an hour or something like that. I, I, don't, I don't know, Red. You help me out. What do you think? Yeah, so it doesn't take long at all. Right, so... Yeah, so 
Yeah, so it doesn't take long, is what I'm trying to say, right? Not enough for me to take up a whole refinement slot to, to for hospital capacity. So I usually leave that one unchecked. Now, if you are still on your T4 journey, I would say research speed is probably something that you want to keep. Um, you may still want to keep it. And there's no wrong choice here because research speed, I mean, it's endless, right? So research is endless in this game. So if you want to keep that check, you're certainly, it's your choice. Perfect. We'll leave it away. Um, so motivation recovery bonus is also a good one. It's not so bad considering your current status to have uh, because you you cl there, there's clearly a void there. You need to get some of your green gear to blue and then some of your blue to purple. So the quicker you can recover motivation means the, the faster you'll be able to kill rebel leaders and the faster you kill rebel leaders, the more you can more often you can upgrade your equipment. So you can put that on there if you want, or you can take it off. It's up to you. Okay. Um, another one that is a good one to have is hospital healing speed. Um, now, you don't have to do this now because we're kind of in a, in a peace time, but when it comes to, you know, we're, we're, when we're running, doing KVK or, um, you know, Lord of Lords phase six, roll some weight, you know, get rid of something on here that you currently have and, and roll some hospital healing speed because it's going to help you, um, especially if you get hit, you know, to, to, to regain your strength quicker. Um, I'll leave it check, unchecked right now. It's something to keep in the back of your mind if you're planning on doing some attacking or doing some things in KVK. You know, reroll that hospital healing speed uh, before you before you go go nuts, and and it'll save you a, a heck of a lot of speed ups and heals later on down the road. Um, but for right now, we're in kind of a peace time, so I wouldn't worry about it right now. But this is a good base, so let's see what we can get from here. So once you once you've checked what you what you think you want, you know, X out of it. So you got enemy army attack reduction. That's one of the ones at the bottom. So I would say keep it. Infantry defense we're not going to need because we don't have infantry in our army. So let's re-roll this one. Okay. So you got see how it stopped me there. You got spearman health. So that's good. That's what we want. Supporting our front line. Total defense, good. Leave it. Enemy army health reduction. I would say leave that one too. Because that's one of the ones down at the bottom. It's rare to land on. Uh, inventory health, don't need it. Sure, we'll swap it for spear health. We need that. So, rallied army marching speed. That's one of the ones... Did we keep that one or did we leave that one? Let's see. Marching speed. Well, I mean, we can keep it. Up to you. Okay. So, we got one of the ones down at the bottom. So, enemy army health reduction. So, best case scenario. That was good. So, research speed. We unchecked that one. So, let's... Roll through that one. So motivation recovery. That's that's good. You need to work on some gear. So rally size expansion. That's we'll leave that one. We have that one checked. So army size. We'll leave that one. We have that one checked. Hospital capacity. This is one that I said we don't have. We're not getting more as much bang for a buck. So we'll re-roll this one. Motivation recovery bonus. And and you don't have to keep that. We can we can go again if you wanted to. But K 
cav attack even better right so cavalry health we don't need it because they're not in our front line so enemy harmony health reduction you're gonna reduce the hell out of some health that's all I'm trying to say because you have it on every single piece so far um, research speed we'll go by this one motivation recovery yeah because you can just spam it and you know mindlessly go through it um, Wow nice job on the gold here let's see rally army marching speed so we're gonna spearman health rally size expansion army size that's not a bad one research speed let's roll that one I, I, I wouldn't waste a motivation recovery on your gold piece just my personal <laughs> it hit it again Come on, baby. Come on, total attack. Yeah, it is. Look at this. Come on, man. Enemy army defense. Hmm. It, it could be better, but let's let's leave it at that and come back to it. All right, so total health, good. Infantry health, we don't need it. Another motivation recovery. Well, let's see. So you got 27% right now. You want to get rid of that? I could say I would say leave it for right now until you till you get your gear up another level. Um, Spearman health. Yeah, I mean we we need it, but regardless what you roll it at, it's only going to be a 1.16 percent. So I would just leave it at Spearman health. Infantry defense don't need it. Total attack. Look at there. Research speed don't need it. Spearman health. Cav health don't need it. So motivation recovery bonus. So now we're up to 33%. Rally size expansion. Well, wow, there's your total attack. Look at that. 10.5%. Infantry health don't need it. Like Spearman Health. Army size. Well, let's see. Oops. Spearman Health. You could never have enough health on your front line. It's 111.51. And remember what I said before when we were looking at your stats that health is your Achilles heel so anything that you can do to boost that right now is is best um, now if you get your gear up and you get more badges uh, especially the Iron Bank gifts like the, the the infantry or not infantry but spearman health badges and you put more of those on your gear um, you may want to re-roll re -roll this to something else uh, like in, uh, spearman attack or cavalry attack whatever whichever one is fine but uh, or try for something like total attack or something like down here you can do that um, but with with health being with your health being so low on your front line I would say as much as you possibly can get 
out of your refinement is probably going to benefit you the most. Um, enemy army health reduction, total defense. Yep. Um, oh, we were down here, weren't we? Spearman health, army size, total defense, infantry health. We don't need that one. Spearman health. And then motivation recovery. Research speed. Gav attack. So that's good. So we rolled everything on, and it's landed on everything that something that we've have checked so far. Now you can look at it and aim for other things if you wanted to. Um, but for right now, we got it on everything that's desirable. So, so right now, you got a pretty decent rally size expansion out of it. Uh, your army size is up by 60k. Um, you've boosted your cav attack another 16%. Spearman health went up to 115, which is really, really good. Uh, you got a couple cav attack in there totaling at 15%. Um, total health, total defense, yada, 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 you see where you're at. Your motivation recovery bonus is 36%. Um, I would back off a little bit, a little bit of this. Um, when, when you get your gear to a little bit better of an acceptable level. Um, cause you know, right now you got to work on some gear. So the more motivation you have and the faster you can recover it, the better, the faster you're going to get your gear at a, at a acceptable point. So now that we've done all that, we go to your dragon. Okay. So let's look at your dragon skills. Okay. So infantry attack, you don't need infantry defense. You don't need infantry health. You don't need. Cav defense you don't need. <clears throat> Cav attack you do need. So basically what you're going to want to do is choose dragon skills that benefit the formation that you're running. Um, preferably, <laughs> red dragon skills are the best. But I realize that they're hard to get, right? So right now they have spearman health. And you have 30 out of the 300 needed. So what I would do, Spearman Health is what you want. That's for your formation. That's what you want that they're going to offer in the raffle shop. You only have 147 tokens. Now, in my experience, it takes about 900 tokens to get the 300 pieces that you need to buy these. It's like a one to three ratio. So I wouldn't waste the 147 that you have right now because it's you're not going to really get much of anything out of it at the moment. I would wait, and I think it takes it about a month or a little over a month to come rolling back around again. And try to get as many of these advanced skill raffle tokens as you possibly can between now and then. You can buy them in the VIP shop. You can buy them as various rewards for, for events. Um, anytime you see where you can get one of these, get them. And just do that every day, every event, from now until this spear health rolls back around again. And once it rolls back around again, blow them all. Every single one of them you got. And if you're lucky, you'll get at least 300 so you can unlock it. And that'll be your first red dragon skill. And what red dragon skills do, so not only do they offer, if you get it at a certain level, like five, if you upgrade it to level five, not only will it boost the health of your army, your spear, it will reduce the health of the enemy spear by that amount as well. So it's a two twofold sort of skill. That's that's how all the red dragon skills work. It's a yin and a yang, and it all benefits you, but 
it it's it gives you two two options. Um, so red dragon skills, get them when you can. Um, so it what it'll do is it'll go infantry health, cav health, spear health, uh, infantry defense, cav defense, spear defense, um, and then the next one will be spear attack. And then the next one after that, it'll start over again with health and defense. And it's a rotation like that. The only attack one that you're going to get from this shop is bow. So unless you're going to be defending or you're a trap castle or you're trying to tank rallies, I wouldn't worry too much about the bow one right now. But if you want to get cav attack, infantry attack, spear attack, those are the, that's a different event you have to get those from. And those usually cost money. Um, when that event rolls back around again, I'll show you, just so you know. Um, but it's possible to, to save up enough currency to buy those attack red dragon skills. But it's just going to take a long, long time unless you spend money. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, this is the guy you want. You want to target this guy first. Um, it's a good idea to get a bunch of different ones. Um, infantry, spear, you know, because whenever you throw your dragon in a rally, even if it's somebody else's, you know, rally that's leading it, like if I'm, cav I'm infantry cav, if you have an infantry red dragon skill on your dragon, it's going to help me. It's going to help everybody because I'm, I'm rolling with infantry, right? It may not help your current um, attack formation, but if you do have it on your dragon, it will help whoever you send your dragon to. So it's not a bad thing to have. But for right now, um, I'm, I'm going to let you do this because... I don't want to mess with any of what you got going on, but you kind of see what we're trying to do here. So we're trying to support your main formation, which is spear calf. So, so you don't need infantry. I would put spear here instead of infantry. Yeah. Now on your other dragon, this is might be where you want to put your your infantry you know so that way if if somebody's if somebody needs uh, infantry boosts on, on dragon skills and stuff you can send this dragon instead of the other one now granted this dragon is much weaker than your current level 60 dragon but it won't always be that way when this sucker gets ancient it's it's gonna get it's gonna be more powerful than your other one than your, than your, than this was in here. Yep, you don't have to swap it around again. But, so, now I'll let you do this. So, your homework is to fix your dragon skills. Um, but for right now, what we're looking at, and we'll go to the details. So, 368% cav attack. Now, keep in mind, this is not commander bonuses. This is just the Lord, your equipment, and your talents. So, 368.74 in cav attack. Spear defense is 238%. And spear health is now 319% thanks to specializations. Because you rose it by 115% in specialization. Well, refinement bonus. Um... So that's good. That's what we wanted to do. So now let's look at it with, you got some goodies here. Let's see. Eh, whatever. Come on. Are you serious? So now let's look at it with your commanders implied. So it's this one here, spear calf. So you're looking at 435% cav attack, 443% spearman attack, which is really good. You're balanced on both both equations there. So 
attack is attack, man. You know, it, 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 you you really want to focus attack on on your damage line, which is cavalry, but having it on your front line is not bad either. I mean, it's it's either way, it's attack. Attack is attack. Um, Spearman defense, 344 percent. That's really good. It could be better, yeah, always. I mean, hell, my account can be better, right? Um, so Spearman Health is 337%. Yeah, so your Spearmen are going to be in the front taking the brunt. So you want them to last as long as you, they possibly can. And the, the best way to ensure that that's going to happen is boost their health. S defense is great, don't get me wrong. It, it's good too, but... When that dragon attacks, this doesn't matter anymore. And the only thing that matters is this here. And that goes for cavalry too. So if your cavalry is squishy and that dragon attacks, it's going to toast them. Um, where is cavalry? There it is, 223, which isn't bad, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so now your total, attack, total health is 339%. Total attack which is something that I would say try and improve any way you can. Um, it's, it's difficult to do, <laughs> but if you can improve that, then, then do so. And total defense is 230-ish. And then you come into your reduction skills, which they are what they are. So overall, would you say it was... A successful transition. Yeah. According to the logic of following the badges, spear should be your front formation your front line and when it comes to blacksmith like you got a lot you got some dots here go ahead and craft this up man it's not doing anything sitting here well you got some because you got to dismantle a purple so you you got enough and you got you got these purple feet you got to dismantle those Yeah. Yeah, so wherever you see a red dot is something that you can do. Now, you may go and it say you don't have enough items, but click on it. You do have enough items. Um, because you got a gold one here you can dismantle. Now you have enough. See? And you same here. You got a gold one here you can dismantle. So now you got enough to do that piece now. And I think you had enough to do this necklace too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, maybe not now because I used your pot for this, which is what you wanted to use first. This, this, so <laughs> when it comes to Mountain Clan set, always start with the weapon then this then the the scabbard and then uh the the cloak you get the most bang for your buck when killing rebel leaders with these three here i mean yeah these are nice and they're going to help you but i think these will be these benefit you more these first three here and then your refinement you can you can use your uh Use your refined green stones to put them wherever you want. But you're doing exactly what you should be doing. So you're finishing out one piece of equipment before you're moving on to the next. And that that's, that's the approach that I like to take as well. So maybe the next one will be... Where's another really strong piece of equipment that you have? It was this one here, because you have total attack on this one. So maybe if you can, 
Yeah, so so when you have enough of these stones, finish this one out to gold. Like max it all the way out. Since you, especially since you got total attack here, because that's gonna benefit you the most to get this one get this piece to gold first. Versus like say this, right? Well this one has total attack too, but you're closer here than you are here. Uh, your your honor token. Uh, you got one day and sixteen hours before you renew it. Yeah, that is your refinement tree. You're close. This is what you want, Badge Master, because you unlock that fourth badge slot. And then this is where you save your badge, your badge configurations, badge planning, pre-edited badge configuration. Well, if you speed up whatever you're working on now and complete it and then start these two, and if you can speed those two up, then you only can do one at a time here. Because this one won't unlock until that one's done. Yeah. Anyway, I, that's, that's totally up to you, how you want to do it. Ultimate goal is this guy right here. And even better, if you can get this guy right here. If you plan on playing multiple badge configurations if you're not planning on playing multiple badge configurations then don't worry about badge planning for right now um i i, I mean i am i'm going i'm making a beeline for this sucker right here because i know spear cav is probably where i'm gonna wind up um just because of what it's what the game has given me the, the 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 game of thrones gods has given me spear it wants me to go spear i know that's where i'm going to end up so but i don't want to forget my infantry cav roots because i'm strong in cav and i'm strong in infantry so i may want to change back at some point so i don't want to lose that badge configuration that i have going on right now because I'm doing pretty good with it. <laughs> Plus, it's a little bit of nostalgia, right? Because it's where I started. What is that? Your spear calf. So you're... So you want your attack to be in cavalry mostly. Still need defense and spearmen. You, you, it's even better if you have if you have health. Health and spearmen is is even better. All right, I'm gonna stop the stream now. So.